Today we're here at Glenbrook Chrysler Dodge and Jeep looking at this 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. That's right, they brought back the Trailhawk for the 2017 model year and Jeep says this is their most capable version yet. You get Kevlar reinforced tires on this thing from Goodyear. It has Jeep's legendary 4x4 system. It has the Quadra airlift that they've done a little bit more to for the Trailhawk. You get those red tow hooks that will tell everybody this is a Trailhawk. It has a glare resistant decal there on the hood. You also get a special interior with this thing. It's black with suede inserts. You have red stitching throughout. You get a Trailhawk logo there on the steering wheel. The brushed aluminum look on anything that would be painted. And also, you get a nice Trailhawk logo right there on the seat. So how does all that extra equipment translate into driving it? Well, unfortunately today, I don't get to take this vehicle off-road because this isn't a press car. This is a dealership car. So once my audience grows big enough, maybe in the future, maybe next year's Trailhawk, I'll actually be able to take off-road. But we're going to see how this thing does on-road. First impressions, this is a really, really nice Jeep to be inside of. Um, my buddy had a Summon Edition, and it, this reminds me of a lot of that. It's, and it's just a really comfortable ride, and I expected it to be a little more stiff because of it being the Trailhawk. But honestly, so far, it's really not that bad. It's got adaptive cruise control, and I'm kind of testing that out here on the highway. It also has the lane assist, so if I let it drift a little bit, it brings it right back into the lane, which is really pretty nice. The seats, they changed the seats for the Trailhawk. For the Trailhawk, you get the suede inserted uh, seats, which I think are gonna wear a little bit better. That's what one of the sales guys there at Glenbrook Dodge were telling me, is he has a limited, and it feels like his seats are wearing just a little bit quick, and he feels like these are gonna hold up a little bit better to, to the wear. So I like how they look, I like how they feel, all right, so here we are on a curvy road, and this road's a little bumpy, so I'm curious to see how an SUV that's set up for, you know, a Trailhawk handles these bumps and the curves in the road. Here we go, it's getting a little tighter. The steering feels a little light, which, is, which isn't bad, and... <laughs> All right, with the Trailhawk, you get this neat feature where you can monitor your your drivetrain, your suspension height, how much it's articulating, your gauges, and with the, when you're on the drivetrain, you can actually see how much angle steering angle you're putting in, which I think is really cool. When you're you know actually doing this thing off road, it's probably some pretty important information that you're gonna want. Jeep has really done a great job at making this vehicle enjoyable to drive on an everyday type of situation i'm just on some country roads here and you know it's actually very enjoyable to drive it's very comfortable it feels luxurious it feels very competent and stable and anywhere you want it to be and this 5.7 liter hemi man it it does a good job of getting getting the power to the ground and it doesn't feel right now like something that I could just go off-roading, but I can. It's so comfortable and so luxurious that it does a good job at hiding its other side. The other side to itself that, hey, I can go off-roading when you want to. And I love all the little touches they've done, like putting the little red Jeep on the rim. You know, when I first looked at these rims, I didn't really care for them. I thought they were kind of ugly and they looked like a lazy design to me. But when you look at that, just that little touch of that little red Jeep just makes the wheel different enough for me to think it's cool. I really wish Jeep would have stuck with that that really nice gear selecting lever that they had before. And it just gave this vehicle such just th that next step of of refinement that made it feel so nice inside. If they would have tweaked it just a little bit, maybe make a park button that was really obvious for those who for some reason could not figure it out you know to, to keep that level of refinement in the interior would have been so nice I mean this doesn't really 
this doesn't look anywhere near as nice as what it used to be it just looks plain and and simple and it kind of just brings the interior down just just a little bit but i really like this vehicle um overall it's just good so yes please follow me on instagram facebook and please subscribe to my channel i hope to make this thing grow and and to get to the point where i'm i'm reviewing cars for what they're made to do like this i want to take this off-roading because i want to see what it can do i want to give you guys a more in-depth review so thanks again to glenbrook dodge for even allowing me to drive this vehicle and once like i said really nice car really enjoy it please check out the link to their website below in the description have a great day